Hey there, lovely people. Today I'm going to continue playing on my new character creation on the PlayStation on the US server. So we're going to start out with this first mission. Oh my goodness, did I change my movement? I never changed my movement. Oh, I hate the current movement on her. And I love, I love the sparkle trail. It is my favorite, favorite movement, which is funny because you get it for free. So <laughs> let's head out. Oh, actually I have mail. So let's go and check that first. What have we got? Welcome to the neighborhood. That will be from completing that briefing collection last time. So we'll collect that. Thank you. I think this is going to end up being a test to see how long I can last before I put money into this. Because I can foresee some of these things becoming very frustrating. But let's let's see how long we go. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be as frustrating as I anticipate, but I'm thinking it will be because I'm pretty sure that's what happened the first time I played. I got so frustrated with escrow and frustrated with mail that I was like, that's it. I've had enough. I have to do something. <laughs> All right, movement mode. Thank you. We are currently unable to go super fast, but usually your um, missions that you have to complete are quite close together at the very beginning until you can actually get that unlocked. So let's go over here and defeat some screamers, shall we? It's very odd not having my normal loadouts available to me. I have not played from scratch in quite some time, or if I have played a new character, it has not been fire. So I did not expect particular abilities to just be there which is kind of what's happening right now kind of expect these abilities to just be there but here we go I'm hoping that because I'm creating characters on the US server for PlayStation the only place where I did not have an account um, that I'll be able to play with some of you guys because it seems like a good portion of people uh, who are watching me play on PlayStation and play in the US server. So I'm here with you. Let's go into the journal. You can, you, yes, I am, I am aware how all this works. I don't need it, thank you. I can probably turn that off, but will I? No. Why? I can't be bothered. All right, we have a new ability here. Let's, oh, don't go too far. Have a look which one it is, overheat. Will I leave it there? I'll leave it where it is. That's fine where it is. All right, let's make a move towards this lovely yellow arrow that is directing us to our next location of need. I feel so slow. <laughs> Here we go, red zone. Now, I do want to pay attention for um, the exclamation marks that you can find, like the little people who have extra missions in locations for you. I don't know how soon they appear, but I didn't see one in the last red zone. Is there perhaps one here that I'm not aware of, maybe? Oh, I love Flashpoint. I haven't used it in so long because I have preference of some other abilities, but Flashpoint is a fun one. Goodbye. It's also odd using my weapons. I don't use them very often in gameplay at all, and here I am having to use it again. Well, as a hero, I will get Oracle quite soon. I say soon. I will get Oracle as my first ally available, which is nice because she will give me power now rather than helping me out with my armor. So, oh, I see it. Exclamation point right there on the map. Let's go there. In fact, I'm wondering if now I have missed one in the last red zone. And also I did not collect a briefing in the last red zone either. So I'm wondering if I have now missed something, which is quite likely. It's because I'm talking to you guys. It's clearly your fault. No. <laughs> I just need to pay closer attention to what I'm doing. Hang on. Let's have a look at the map. There should be the police station. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, so where's the cop shop? Over here is the cop shop. I think. No. What's this called? East End Bowery. East End Police Station. Yeah, cop shop. Oh, it's just got a rally point there as well. So if I put an arrow here in this general direction, we know that the last red zone was between here and the cop shop. So let's just run back. I say run, but this is like the slowest form of movement ever. There it is. That's where we were. Let's just see if there's any little exclamation mark people. That's what I call them. 
I am sure that's going to get annoying because I don't think that's what they're actually called. And just see if we can't find a um, briefing at least. I don't mind if I miss out on a source mark, but I mind if I miss out on a briefing. All right, I'm not seeing it. Uh, at least we know where it is. Let's head back to where we need to be. Hello, the cop. All right. It's really weird being attacked like this and being able to just walk away because they're doing so little damage. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Mind you, if I did attack them, it would probably be a little more beneficial because that is how you increase that purple bar along the bottom so that you can um, increase your level before you hit CR. Goodbye, poison prisoner. So you have to make sure, or you don't have to, but I like to make sure, I say right after not making sure in the very first red zone that I was in, that, I make, that I'm checking for um, briefings so that you get all of them and don't miss one. And um, also that you're looking to see if there's a secondary mission that you can complete. I think it's called side mission. Um, which I like to make sure I do at each location because it doesn't take a whole lot of extra effort, but it does give you source marks and you slowly get to um, accumulate those on your way through. So that's always nice. Source marks are handy. <laughs> and if it does require you to do a little bit of extra work to get it, it ends up being worth it because you start to um, get your character leveled up a bit more as you do more damage. You can see that you, the XP that I'm collecting from each of these guys, that's what's contributing to the purple bar along the bottom, which is what will cause me to level up. So we'll have a fun decision to make later down the track. Once we get up to CR level 20, sorry, not CR. Once we get up to level 20, we will suddenly have access to whatever the newest world content is. And that will mean that um, I could potentially level her all the way to 30 through that new content because it's quite a bit quicker um, than trying to go through the storyline. But I mean, I think the storyline is interesting and that we should probably go all the way through, right? And see everything that happens properly, actually being able to hear the cutscenes and things. So maybe that's the best way to go. Oh, we completed obviously the side mission and the main. So we go here, collect that, and we keep moving. We got a belt. So let's just get out of the line of fire for a moment and have a look at this inventory. We've got gloves we need to collect the style on, but don't need to wear. Again, collect style, don't need to wear. Beautiful, thank you. And I just realized I have a pet and I have not used her. So we should probably do that. I don't know if it's actually a her. It just looks uh, like quite sweet to me. I mean, it looks kind of feminine to me, but it's a piece of technology. So <laughs> I could be way off on that one. All right, let's get the briefing. It's really odd not having the shield. I always used to just put up a shield before I would do any briefing collection. Let's get you out of my way. And then we will do these barrels. Let's pick them up and head for the little X. I have to see, oh good. There is a exclamation mark person here. I'm not sure what they're actually called. <laughs> a mission hub person. But let's collect that because most likely we will be able to complete that through the duration of the rest of this that we need to get done. So worth it. Source marks are great. Let's grab another barrel. How many do we need to do? Three, it says down there. Transport hazmat offices, sealed fear gas barrels to safe zone. This like, it's not that far. Why are you guys having trouble? Can you not leave the ones that are there, maybe? You have to stand by it, so someone has to transport from one location to the other while people stand by. But I mean, there's two hazmat offices here. There's one standing right here and one over there by the barrels. Surely you could grab one and you could come back and put it away. I'm assuming it's going into this, right? I mean, not, not that I don't want to help. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Defeat Scarecrow Henchman, four out of 10. So we need to get a few more of them. Battle hallucinations to find out, oh, sorry, find lost hazmat workers. So that's what we're currently doing with that little speech bubble that comes up above them in the little coke. There's another. 
I'm not really using this one. It's a little slow for my taste. <laughs> Let's get them sleepers. Shrieker. Sometimes the names are so weird. All right, what did we just get? Let's complete that and hop into our loadouts. We have, is it a shield? Immolation, it is the shield. Beautiful, and it's in the right slot for me. Yay! I can feel how excited you all are for me. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Get out of my way. I am traveling in this direction. Please move. See, if I was playing just by myself, I would probably spend just a little bit of time uh, at one of these locations, potentially knocking off a bunch of the enemies so that I can increase my XP collection and um, be slightly above where I would normally be for the completion of these uh, storylines. But it's not necessary, it's just something I do, and frankly, I don't know that it makes all that much difference. I could potentially just be wasting my own time, because especially in this case, where I'm intending to actually go through the storyline to completion. So, yeah, I'm just wasting time, aren't I? I'm good at that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Follow this yellow arrow. I cannot wait until I am able to access my movement uh, stat points, so that I can actually go faster than this because this feels so slow it's like quick quick let's jog towards the enemy pace yourself don't hurry that would be ridiculous <laughs> all right let's head this way oh all right we're in the light location we need to speak to harvey bullock it's one interesting name right there okay it's been so long since i've done this collect the doctor we need to make sure we're still keeping our eyes out for briefings and a potential secondary task or side mission, I should say. Looks like some other people have just started as well. That was a very odd camera angle. Collect the hallucinating victims. Beautiful. All right. So there's another doctor. Hang on. I see the briefing. Let's get the briefing. I'm not seeing... A secondary or st I'm not seeing a side mission collection in this red zone on that map but there's no exclamation mark there poisoner what a fantastic job in fact if you say your occupation is poisoner people are going to know exactly what you do that would be a terrible thing to tell a police officer what do you do for a living I am a poisoner <laughs> ah flashpoint you are so handy I did have Flashpoint in my loadouts for quite some time when I was first playing on Switch. I quite like it. It seems efficient to me. Stop running away! I know, they're not running away. They're running to the scientist I activated. Or was there maybe three at the last one and I just missed one? Oh, that is a kiosk. That is not the white dot that I am looking for. I would like a doctor. Thank you. I probably missed one. Either that or there really was two for the last one and this one just happened to have three and it's a little more random than I remember. Let's collect this one. See, now now I'm going to feel bad. I don't want to leave you there. Here you go. I'll fix you up. Oh yeah, look at that three. I think I missed one. Is this giving me XP at least? No. <laughs> just wasting my time. All right, so we're helping... People on the roof, here we go. Take them down. Don't worry, little hazmat officer, I will help you. I see some more white dots on the roof up here. Let's go knock out the shrieker and heal him. Or I wonder what it is I'm doing exactly. Don't know that I have any medical training. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we have a new weapon. Yes, please show me. Let's go here. Oh, you know what would help if I collected it first? Ooh. All right, now we can have a look. Let's see. 
Tech Enhanced Longbow. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. I am a fan. Yes, please. I'm going to put the light purple there or the dark. Dark. Yeah, that's what we want. Thank you. And we have earned a skill point that I don't want to spend. I don't, I don't tend to use any of these. Uh, you can tell me if that is a bad decision, but by the time I've built up the abilities on almost every one of my characters, I don't use my weapon. So I don't really see a purpose. I can see a purpose if you're maybe flexing between the two and you do actually end up, I'm going the wrong way, end up needing to use your weapon for a lot of things. I also see the purpose if you're doing precision and that's what you're aiming for. Oh, look, something to collect. Yay. Thank you. All right. But I'm not doing that. I'm not building precision. I've actually never made a complete precision build before. I'm curious how, how well it plays. Maybe that's something else I should try. Something else? Something else I should try to do. All right, let's enter the Gotham sewer. Sounds gross. A repair bot. I wonder what they're going to do about those now. Because you can't really call them a repair bot because they don't actually repair you anymore. Maybe they're just going to leave it as is. Well, I'm going to sell, I realize that some people don't approve of this choice, but I'm going to sell these pieces of armor um, just for a couple of reasons. One, because um, they don't do a whole lot for your augments to start with, and as I level up, I feel they don't really make a huge impact, but they do make an impact at the start if I'm um, making purchases of armor uh, styles. So I find that a little bit more helpful to start with, and later on when I do have the augments to level up, I find it hasn't really made that much of a dent in it when I use these. So um, I sell them to start with, especially because I want to see how I go with this escrow and um, purchasing of armor. I can also see my boxes unlocked, uh, ready for me to be able to put more armor styles on that are higher level, but I'm going to wait and do that once we've completed the mission. Um, oh, I have been stunned. Oh, this, I remember this, this lasts quite some time take a nap in the period of time it takes her to get out of this state of being. There we go. All right, I believe we go through here and there's like a, a huge amount of little hallucinations and what you need to do is bring um, the barrels back and then deactivate or activate them, one of those, to the cog above them. There we go. So let's do that and just watch my health bar. Hello, hallucinations. Yes, I'm coming past. Pop it here. Yeah, and then activate the cog. There we go, one down. I wish I could run. I miss super speeds, like little speed up. Urgh. <laughs> Next one, I might throw it. Yay. And throw this one. Sometimes I have really poor aim with throwing, so uh, I don't do it. See, I can't really gauge if I'm doing something that causes my aim to be poor, or if that's just luck of the draw when you throw something, it may or may not hit well, or what it is. Because especially when we're doing like the Halloween load-in, um, and you need to carry those items around. What are they? I think they're crystals. And you have to carry them to pedestals, I believe. Um, but especially during that, sometimes I can aim it beautifully and it'll land either very close or right on the pedestal from wherever I am. Um, but then on other occasions, it just hits the ceiling, hits the wall, hits an enemy and goes flying off in the opposite direction. And I have to run and collect it and redo it. And then I'm like, maybe I should just avoid trying to do this at all. And I should just carry it and walk so that I don't waste anyone's time. But then sometimes it's just so much faster to do it by throwing it. So I don't know. Does anyone else have this issue or is this just me? It's probably just me with really bad aim. <laughs> Here we go. Take down all the hallucinations now. That is so weird having a pet this early. <laughs> and it's so weird with these loadouts being what they are. Now, I don't remember there being a briefing down this end. I'm just going to put the volume up. Oh, I like how it sounds in here. 
I haven't had the volume up because I have a little bit of concern about it clashing with the sound of what I record um, through from my gameplay. So, oh, here we go, briefing. So I, I, I want everything to sound okay for you guys. I don't want to double up on something that doesn't match or sync exactly. So I've tried to have the volume down, but I like playing with it on. It's interesting, especially when I'm not getting all relaxed, ready for bed. Sometimes I start a sentence and I have no idea where that sentence is going to go. Oh, right, Scarecrow. Oh, his voice is gone. Let's bring him back. Fear is such an appetizing ha! emotion. So many flavors. Here's one that hits close to home. Protophobia. Fear of betrayal. Nothing like having your closest allies stab you in the back. That is a pretty horrible fear. Thank you, I shall. No, you can't be real. You're my family. Oh, Batgirl's clearly having some issues. So I wonder why we're not hallucinating our family. <gasps> we're an orphan. We have no family. <laughs> okay, don't ask me why I'm doing this. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. I have obsessive compulsiveness with some things and that happens to be one of them. I hate when my character targets random things in the room when she has enemies to defeat. And um, those are some of the things she would target if I just left them, so I removed them. Experiment 81. Adverse react. Another one of my favorites. Petophobia. Fear of reptiles. And since we're in a Gotham oh, sewer, these came back. We came back. Represent it, then. Killer Croc. Hello, Killer Croc. I like Killer Croc. I don't really feel fear with this guy. He's like a giant teddy bear, except combined with a reptile instead of a cuddly soft toy. It's so similar, you know. Crumble under the weight of your own fear. No, thank you. Looks like Batgirl's having some issues, though. Oh, sorry, Batwoman. My bad. Oh, I saw a um, chest over here. Let's get that. Beautiful. Oh, it's times like this, this that I wish I had heat vision. Oh no, we're good on this that one too. I feel like fear is not and really going to be my issue toes. here. Real. I wonder if he's going to do heights. Fear of heights? A lot of people have that fear, don't they? Shall we dance? Yes! Can we? Wait, I have an emote for that. Where's my dance emote? There it is. Yay! Dancing! Okay, this is probably not the time. Sorry, Batwoman. You shouldn't have suggested it! Oh no, I love thunder and lightning. Thunderstorms are like my favorite. No, not lightning. Yes, lightning! Bring the lightning! Beautiful. I love it. Now some wind would be good and some rain. Do your worst. You're like, no, don't do that. And then you're like, do your worst. Make up your mind, Batwoman. But I can't, sir. No, I'm out of gas. He's out of gas? <laughs> Eat some beans. I'll take you down myself. Oh, sure you will. I know, right? Mine too. Sounds like a plan to me. Choose some loot. No, don't do some loot. Oh, I forgot. Sometimes when you're... Doing the earlier levels, it has to run through a little couple of operations before it'll let you actually collect the loot. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> he looks so happy. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. He's got a blood nose. Hundreds of us. <laughs> hey, 
I'm not a fool. Oh, alright, yeah. Red Enigma. <laughs> it's good to be home. Now he can play with all his little friends. Aww. I know. Warm welcome for Scarecrow at Arkham. We'll be speaking soon. Batman out. Loot. Plus four, thank you. Something else I tend to do when I'm collecting... Oh, super speed unlocked! Super speed unlocked, people! Uh, when I'm collecting armor items... Yes, I will collect it, thank you. Um, if they... I know it's not happening at the moment, but later I will have the option of collecting one that is damage and one that is tank. Well, for the purposes of leveling up as fast as I possibly can, I tend to choose whichever one is higher regardless. So if there's a plus... Uh, a little green plus that is higher on the tank armor. I'll put the tank armor on even if I'm playing damage. It's not as impactful at the beginning um, as it would be later on. So I, that's my preference is to just level it as quickly as I possibly can. Let's huh, unlock this for super speed. Oh, thank you. I want my dash attack. I want my whirling dervish. Can I get it? I got three here. Let's go here. Two. Yes. Whirling Dervish is unlocked. All right, let's get it into our loadouts. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, Whirling Dervish is always here. What have we got here? Master a Nation. I wasn't using Overheat. That's an Overtime. I think Master a Nation is Overtime too. No, no, we'll keep Master Detonation there. All right, so Flashpoint I'm keeping there. Don't need I'll leave. We're good. This is what we've got, people. And for once, I have a supercharge in my loadouts. Now, you may have noticed when I collected my briefing before, it was five out of six, which means I definitely missed one at the very start there. So we're going to go and have a look and see if I can find it because that is unacceptable. I'm, I've am i left... Oh, I did leave my green arrow. Did it disappear? No, it's there as well. They're just overlapping each other. So let's... Oh, I'm fast! Okay, let's just head down here. Oh, I missed you. It may not have been a long time without you, but let me tell you, I was uncomfortable with you missing. You're my favorite. All right, let's climb this building. I have a feeling that it's up here somewhere. There you are. Hello, little green exclamation mark. I'm very happy to see you. Yay. Oh. Experiment 905. Thank you. Roosevelt said the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Hey, I just he said was, that before. Of course, utterly wrong. Oh, I didn't say it before. I don't know why you would think that. Always I'm wrong. always right about things, and clearly I wouldn't have said that, you know. Just... You've got to help. I don't got to do anything, mate. All right, let's go inside. Here we go. Go and collect our mission completion. Here we go. Question mark. Thank you. Thanks Hello, to Batwoman. Your help. Scarecrow's back in Arkham. But now we've got a new fire to put out. Bane's back on the Vannon and taking over Cape Carmine. Oh no! Sound like a dream job? Yes, yes it does. I quite like Cape Carmine actually. It's the one with all the um canisters that I have to deal with, which is fun. Alright, so oh hang on. Let's access journal, heroic choice done. <gasps> home sweet home, oh! Shall we put a base in? We should probably put a base in. All right, let's grab our reward here. Thank you. We're going to collect it. I think this might be one of the, um, is it? Exobyte Data Robin. Play f any legend simulator match. So I don't tend to play legends very often, um, but I now have Robin just in case I ever do. Let's collect these lair styles. We've got Gothic, we've got Deco, and down here we have Good. Space Base. Now that you have a theme for your base, you need to get a deed. These are used to actually grant base ownership and to select a location for the entrance. 
All right, so do I do that through my journal here again? I do, yes, Homestead. <gasps> Yay, we have a deed, people. Now, normally I would wait and I would get something like the Arkham location, but let's not do that. Let's start now. First though, we are going to open this box again. So I don't know if uh, people are aware of this or not, but um, I find these really handy. I always, every time I start a new character, I will go and do Face Your Fear and Seize the Throne in that um, redeem box so that I can um, level these things up a little faster. And um, I don't know, it makes it a little easier. All right, we have done that. Let's Anything in sell. particular you're interested in purchasing today? Yes, I am. Thank you. I'm just going to sell you a bunch of things I don't need. I'm going to sell that too because while I've got the game with no cash in it, it means that's just going to take up space and I will likely not use it at all. So here we have our funds. We're going to collect these styles. Why? Because we can. And because I know that um, eventually I will build up my, uh, my cash so high that I'll start filtering into escrow. And I want to avoid that as much as possible so that I actually use my funds for something useful for myself. Did the belt, did that one collect? I'm not sure. It flashed, but I didn't hear the sound. Oh, I just collected something I already have. These ones are outside of my level, so uh, outside of my weapon type. Oh yeah, it's here. All right, so now we collect all the styles. You don't have to do this by any means, but because I am trying to make use of the funds that I have before it starts filtering into escrow, I am going to do this. And this is also why I am selling those items is so that I can do this. Though some people might say, oh, I already have that. Uh, some people might say that I'm probably just making a mistake and I should use these for exobytes instead. Which, I understand that um, point of view, but um, for me, I have found it doesn't Anything make that much of an impact. Interested in purchasing today? No, I would like to sell you back these items, thank you, at a lower price, because I have used them, you know? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, and I'll just check that I did actually get all of them. Can't get these wrong type of uh, weapon. All right, beautiful. Okay, I have mail. Let's go check mail and then let's go and get a base, shall we? I'm thinking we should do the space base because I've never done it before. So I'll be seeing it for the first time with you here. That sounds like fun to me. Oh, a style of helmet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Would you like a helmet? Anything in particular you're interested in purchasing today? No, thank you. I'm done. All right. Let's do our... Deed, deed, gothic, deco, space. Oh, it's gonna be a small base, but the view looks like it's nice. Let's do it. And do we want Metropolis or Gotham? I usually choose uh, Gotham uh, Arkham Asylum. It's my favorite sport, but in Metropolis as well, I kind of like, I think it's called Beach Street where you get to go um, beside the water. It's quite a pretty view. So let's see if we can find that. Oh, here. Beach Street. There we are. Beach Street Harbor. So this is the one I would get. I don't need source marks. I don't. Okay. Let's choose that one. So it's got a beautiful view, which will make absolutely right. no sense with this base. base now yes. Let's go to the base now. <laughs> and I have furniture that's not going to fit in it. Those giant posters for the wall, they won't fit in here. At least not very well. All right. Head to your base All now right. and we'll take a look. This is your mainframe, the nerve center of your lair. You can use it to gain access to powerful tools like orbital strikes, backup reinforcements, and powerful equipment mods. Excellent. The mainframe's power is maintained here as well. They say so powerful sure equipment mods. So They're okay. <laughs> more powerful features. This is your dispenser, where you'll retrieve the items that you've selected. Oh, has anyone noticed the dispensary is no, no longer able to... Strikes. Sell item. You can no longer sell items to it. I find that really annoying because I purposely did not purchase the vendors on my PlayStation uh, EU uh, game because I knew that I could use that um, instead. But now, now you can only dispense from it. You can't sell. Oh, dive hideout. Thank you. I will take that style. Style. We're going with style. But I mean, I understand their choice. 
to change it, but also don't change it. I liked it. Ah. Oh, look at the view. I like this. I've never had, oh, I, I've never used this space before. I'm sure I've had it, like collected it the way I have just for this one before I came here, but isn't that pretty? Kind of like it. Nice. All right. What's next on the agenda here? I'm pretty sure I need to place some furniture. So let's collect the home sweet home. There's our furniture items. Let's collect them. Hanging lamp, clock, and table. Beautiful. Now that you've added the base items to your base inventory, use the control panel to enter decorator mode. Thank you, I shall. I would While like to name my base. Mode, you can place your items at the appropriate markers. While most yes, I know. base items are cosmetic, there are amenities you can acquire that have very specific functions. Yes. Like bank, mail, and broker access. Yes. However, amenities can only be placed at specific markers. Yeah, Once pink. Once you've filled up enough markers, pink markers. you'll unlock free placement mode and be able to place base items almost anywhere. Yes, we need 20 so, items. that about wraps it up. I'm sure you'll uncover even more interesting things about your base. I don't know. This one's kind and of tiny. It doesn't seem that interesting, items, with the exception of the view. All right, so we need to name my base. What are we gonna call it? We could call it something really simple and obvious like space base. <laughs> Let's do that, space base. I like that it rhymes though. Thank you. Yes, that sounds brilliant. All right, let's place our furniture into decoration mode. These items of furniture are not going to suit this place very much. I wonder if we can put these postcard things. Let's try a large one. Ooh, yeah, all right. Let's try and unlock our 20, shall we? Cross your fingers for me. <laughs> I need to not say that. Will the large ones place? No, so we're gonna have to go with the smaller ones. We probably don't have 20 then, I'm guessing. Large? No, oh, just a small one again. Oh, actually, no, we need to place the clock. Let's pop the clock there. Gotham postcard. Thank you. Any other walls? No, we know we can't put it up there without a circle. All right, well, let's put our lamp and our little table. Oh, and we've got a drone pet. I forgot about that. Isn't she sweet? <laughs> we can pop her down. Then we're on what? Eight because we are out of circles on the walls. Oh wait, we can put one on the window. Why on earth is that an option? I wonder if a large one will go on the window. No. Nine, we could place nine items. Well, let's leave it like that for the moment until we have more items to place. Get out of here and check our journal. Base of power, yay! completed and now we have finished everything for our base isn't it pretty it's not pretty this is pretty except for the stupid thing i put on the window now but i like that anyway that's the first mission completed and my base purchased bye guys